How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ruffle Rowlett, and welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Today, we're going to be taking a look at all the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet leaks so far. This is all the leaks so far that have been posted, and we're going to go and break them all down and go through all of them. There is quite a lot, to say the least, so to make this a bit easier, we're going to be using, um, well... Specifically, Centro Leaks here and their posts to go through most of this. There is some other stuff that I'm going to be including as well. But we're going to go through basically their post here because it has most of the information. So let's get started from the top. You guys can just sit back, relax, listen to this in the background. And here we go. So here's a summary. First of all, the starters' final evolutions, as we already know, are going to be Grass Dark, while they're Fighting, and Fire Ghost. Those are the typings of the starter evolutions. So Sprigatito, Grass Dark, uh, Quoxley, Water Fighting, and Fuecoco, Fire Ghost. Then, Spriatito's final evolution has a god tier hidden ability uh, and will be bipedal and seems like it'll be humanoid or waifu like. Now, we actually have another leak to add to that uh, a little bit, but um, let's continue for now. So, here's some of the things that came out the other day. There is no new evolution that has been confirmed. There is no new evolution. This is from a leaker that's genuinely been leaking actual images of the game. Uh, we're not going to be mentioning his name or any of that st sort of stuff because he just isn't okay with it, but just keep that in mind. So, no new evolution has been confirmed. Uh, Joltic, Melodic, Waylord, and Meta gross jinx and golurk are not in the game as of now this person doesn't have exactly correct info on this he's been kind of just saying or he she him i don't know they them um they have just not been really specifically saying like you know that these things are in the game some of them they have but not all of them now he says pokemon will time travel well basically the person said there is some kind of time warping when it comes to the pokemon themselves not for the whole thing right so there isn't you know uh, time travel for the player, as you can see right here, but uh, there is time traveling in another sense, right? Then, they also told us that the story of this game is going to be a tearjerker and apparently going to be really, really good, okay? Apparently a really good story for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Next, the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet region name, which is something that I actually knew and I hinted in a previous video, we know that the name is Paldea. Uh, as you guys can see, the region name is in, in, called in Japanese Paldea from Pokemon plus Aldea, which is village in Spanish. This is a rough translation. The original Japanese text is in the attached image. Now, I actually knew this because one of our own, actually one of our own sources uh, told us this. One of our own sources came and told us that this is the case. So I thought I would just mention that as well. And Mega Evolution is also confirmed to not be back. So the region name, Paldea, and Megas are not in the game. So next is the actual first leaked image. Now I might blur this or I might not blur this, but first of all, these two images right here actually are showing us, uh, first of all, Sprihatito's evolution, okay, which is on the left there, with its little mouth and its face, and it matches the grass typing. And then the other one on the right here, the blue one, is showing us Quoxley's evolution, which is water fighting, and this is the back of it while it's using one of its abilities. Now, I actually have a really great theory that I want to show you guys about this specific uh, subject, because somebody, actually a viewer, was able to figure out that what's on the back of the actual Quoxley here, what's actually on the back of it, is apparently, as far as I can tell, uh, might be actually the actual gimmick itself. Like, literally, the icon of the gimmick. So, I'm going to show you guys the image which kind of explains this, so you can see what we're talking about. So, here you guys can see, uh, if you kind of pay attention. First of all, this is obviously Quoxley, as we've been told. The other thing, though, is, if you look at the logo that's used in the, in the, you know, in the game's logo here, uh, the little, like, icon, whatever, the little star... It matches the shape on the back of the Pokemon. So we pretty much have a confirmation on that, um, more or less. So yeah, it's basically, this is showing us the new gimmick, the new crystal gimmick mechanic being used. It's pretty much showing that off, um, more or less. So again, if you guys want to see all these images, if I have blurred them during the video, then I would recommend to please just go over to, um, please just go over to Twitter and you can find all the information over there. Next information we have here is, we have images of new Pokemon. Uh, we have an image that seems to show off uh, the gimmick, one of the, one of the gimmicks, okay, one of the gimmicks, which seems to show a either a Esper or a um or I don't know, like either showing off a, a Jigglypuff or something with vampire teeth, which actually does match up with this one theory that we've been told. And actually, this was sent to me by uh, Shibs and a few other people, but it basically like put together a pretty great theory about the fact that within Spain and down there, they actually have like a very big mythology about vampires as well, and it could be possible this is a vampiric, you know regional fake, so to say, or like a Pokemon that kind of time-traveled here, uh, in all, like a, like a caveman, almost, version of Jigglypuff. Then there's also a Flamengo, like a Flamenco, Flamengo, whatever you want to call it, uh, Pokemon, which is a pink one you can see up there, as well as the evolution for Lechonk is right here as well, the piggy, it's a larger piggy, as well as the head of Quoxley. 
Quox's evolution head is over there. It's got like a hat on it, like a straight up hat. So we're definitely going to be getting like a, a kind of like a captain slash pirate design for it, as well as the image you saw earlier of the back, like the back of the Pokemon. So you got that as well. Pretty much more or less confirmed. Next is this right here. Looks like the Among Us and Wigglytuff will be a new kind of Pokemon introduced in Gen 1. They're not regional forms, not evolution, but a new concept. So yes, we have a new Amoogus, uh, a new Amoogus lad right here. Uh, or Among Us, Among Us, Among Us, uh, which uh, this Among Us right here is basically a brand new, this is a new, new, totally new thing, okay? This is regional fakes, as they're called by, um, I think, uh, the Riddler Coup, right? He calls them regional fakes, that's how he's referring to them, and these are brand new, by the way, this is a whole new thing, a whole new gimmick, a whole new, like, subject, this is different from what we are used to, this is gonna work in a different way, and the other one is, of course, the weird jiggly, uh, Jigglypuff looking thing, that's the other one that's connected to this, so we don't really know the full meaning of all this, we don't know exactly what it is, what it's meant to be, we don't know, but we'll have to wait and see how that turns out. Next up, though, is quite an interesting thing, which is Pokemon Scarlet and Violet introduced three new mechanics, when we've spoken about these, so three new mechanics or three new gimmicks, one is the crystallization, as he says here, which seems to be the main gimmick of the game, and all Pokemon can use it, and most NPCs use it in game it's activated by a new ball like item so the ball like item was something that was already hinted by the riddler a few like weeks ago or a month ago by now he actually hinted at this idea of there being a ball that you can use to like crystallize pokemon now, i'm not sure that's whole wholly accurate if that's going to be the case but here's basically what it says right here to make it more clear one of the gimmicks used in gen 9 was teased nearly all the important npcs will use it in game which is what like the riddler said the other one is the so-called new concept which will also influence battles some way our fake is also another new concept but more like the officially teased meme so basically what he's uh, this is a post from riddler coup this year this text is from riddler coup and he's specifically saying here there are three different mechanics in this game now there might be even more than those three in this image showcases specifically this mechanic and you can see the Pokemon is crystallized and I already speculated this Pokemon is like um, a regional fake or a, a just a different like a man-made future version of specifically Leap, okay? I think this is Lilip's like like a, a, like a fake regional fake version of Lilip because the eyes look the same And if you look at the other image that's attached with this one It actually shows a body that looks just like Lilip. So we're talking we're gonna talk about that a bit later But either way, so there is three different mechanics the crystals the regional fakes and a third one that we don't really fully understand something with either time warping or something that's similar to Mega Evolution. Again, it's a bit complicated to understand, but let's continue to the next one. So, also, Palmy Evolution. You guys have probably already seen this. We covered this in a few videos before. But yes, Palmy's Evolution has pretty much leaked as well. Now we know what it looks like. Uh, of course... This was leaked way earlier than all the other stuff. This is actually the first one that came out, uh, and it shows Palmy's Evo. This one was barely blurred. It's, like, very clear what this is. This one was literally not even blurred at all, actually. It's very straightforward what it is. So, uh, there you go, guys. This was from the same source. Also, another piece of information we were told is that the Wooper line, so Wooper uh, and all those lads are going to be getting themselves brand new forms. So actually, specifically, Wooper's going to be getting a brand new form, a regional form that's going to be poison type, and it's going to have a brand new evolution. So, it's not going to be Quagsire form. It's going to be a brand brand new evolution instead. Same way that Sneasler is a brand new Evo and not a form of Weewile, and the same way that, you know, I guess, um, Cleavor is a brand new Evo and not just a form of uh, Scizor. So, they go on that info if you were curious. Next, potential Pokemon Scarlet Violet Image Leak. So, we already know about these. This is specifically showing the gym leaders. Uh, we know the typings of most of these. I think we know that the top left one is supposed to be the electric one. Then it's either grass, then it's, uh, sorry, uh, bug, grass, and then water. And then we also have a few other ones that we've already spoken about in the past. Also, we have a Giraffe Rig Evo, which you guys may have seen a bunch of fan art of. There's a Giraffe Rig Evo, which we already kind of knew, so there you go on that information. Next is the Lodger Info, which apparently is. So, as far as we know, okay... Uh, there is apparently, and again, there is a lot to go through here. There's a lot of stuff we haven't even talked about yet, which we're going to jump into. But, uh, for example, there are three cities and nine towns in this game. So, there are three big cities and now nine, like, regular towns in this whole game. There are a total of 300 to 500 Pokemon in the regional decks. Uh, the number is now 400 plus. I think that's been updated. So, 400 plus Pokemon in the Pokedex, which means, yes, you're getting half the Pokemon of the total amount. Uh, there's not going to be that crazy amount. Uh, also, the leaker said that there is going to be DLC. Uh, confirming that yes, DLC will be present in this game 100%. Also, Garchomp is in the game, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Also, he included this uh, text, which doesn't, didn't really make a lot of sense, which is six starter player M3 uh, F3, and then three starting Pokemon, and you can change hairstyles after. So, I guess this is like meaning that you have three like standard characters uh, templates you can choose from maybe or something like that uh but yeah you know i mean there's not really much else that can be said about that to be honest lads so that was the first thing now there is a few more things within these threads that we should go through 
So we're going to jump into that right now. Um, so you guys already know this information. This is from the 11th of June, which uh, here we go. So Quoxley's Final Evolution is the leaker's favorite design of the three. That's specifically, I think, referring to Riddler Coup. This is, I think, old info from June, actually. So I don't think there's really much we can learn that's new here. This is mostly old information from June. Uh, I think if we want brand new information, we have to go jump down into these different threads. There's a lot of threads, so it's kind of hard to know what is what. But here we go. So Dunsparce has a new evolution. That's something that's been confirmed as well. Uh, Dunsparce new Evo. There a new dolphin Pokemon, which I think is the biggest thing, okay? I think a new dolphin Pokemon is the largest piece of information we could have received. Like, that is the biggest information we could have received. There's, uh, as we said, a new dolphin Pokemon. It's massive. Apparently, it's going to be, according to Riddler Coup, it's going to be bipedal. So, it's going to be on, I'm sorry, on two legs rather than on four legs, which is uh, kind of unfortunate. But, uh, you know, if they can make it look like similar to, I, I already suggested during our podcast on the Pokemaniacs, if you, if you want to check that out, I specifically said that it could be similar to Garchomp in design because Garchomp is essentially a shark, but it's humanoid looking. So, I'm thinking if there's a dolphin, they could maybe make it a bit more humanoid looking, similar to, like, Garchomp if they want to go for that type of design. And it could also be, just saying, it could also be a pseudo-legendary. Also, apparently, Murkrow has a new evolution. So this new, brand new Murkrow evolution, which, by the way, since Murkrow is a crow, and we've already been told by the Riddler that the evil team in this game will have some kind of relationship to crows, maybe even being called Team Crow, they may actually be the ones using this brand new evolution of Murkrow, like specifically the Murkrow themselves and the brand new evil of Murkrow as their, like, you know, uh, partner Pokemon or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, because they're the bad guys. And they're supposed to be delinquents, right? Like, you know, like rowdy students that are not doing what they're supposed to do. So, yeah, that makes total sense. Regional Dex is more than 400, as mentioned earlier. The Fuecoco's Fue Final Evolution is still an alligator, so it still says with that kind of design. Uh, no new fossil Pokemon. So, yes, there are no new fossil Pokemon confirmed. Uh, apparently, there is nothing regarding that subject that will be popping up. Uh, also, apparently, uh, there is uh, also images of uh, two of the evolved starters. We already talked about this before. We're going to go back into this a bit later. But we do know that we've seen Spring Hatito, and of course, Quoxley's back. Then we also have this right here, and this is a hint of the gimmick. So, the person even included an image pointing, like a little, like, uh, finger pointing at the skull. Now, I already kind of speculated on this, and I'm going to tell you exactly what I think about this specific subject. I think the skull is showing how the type changing is happening here, because every Pokemon, apparently, is able to use this new gimmick, which I think what it does is, it crystallizes Pokemon and gives them a crystal form that can be kind of malleable into different things. With certain Pokemon... Not this one in this case, maybe, but like other other ones. Maybe this one is also in this case doing this. But certain Pokemon, because of this, being able to gain a different looking, you know, design to them. Similar to Gigantamaxing or something like that. So what I'm seeing right here personally, what I think this is, is on the left side, we're seeing the, uh, you know, the ability starting to be used. Like maybe that's the animation right before. Or actually, maybe that is the actual form of it. That Maybe that's how the gimmick works. It's just a little icon above it to symbolize that it's using the gimmick. Maybe that's the case. I don't really know. But I think what we're looking at here, over there, is a future form of Leleep that over here, we see the full version of it. And I was already suggesting that maybe... And the reason I think I see, like, you know, Leleep here is if you compare a picture of Leleep and you see, like, the little thingies that are drooping down on the sides of this image and the other image on the other side. Because this is the same Pokemon, by the way. What you see on the left and what you see on the right is apparently the same Pokemon. And what I'm seeing here is, it's using the ability, and then it's crystallizing itself, and I think the basic Leleep here is also a regional fake, or a time-warped Pokemon from the future that's come back to the past, because we've already seen hints of, small hints, of there being Pokemon that are either, you know, from the future or from the past, has already been kind of hinted, and the idea of that makes sense, because the person, the leaker, literally said that there are time-warping Pokemon, which connects perfectly with Pokemon Legends Arceus, because we were also told by Riddler Koo, and as well as, I think, the, actually, the Chinese uh, uncle, which is a leaker as well, he specifically told us that there will be a lot of things from Pokemon Legends Arceus, like IDs and stuff, that were already hinted in Legends Arceus, or were there, hinting at Scarlet and Violet for the future, and what does Legends Arceus have? Well, he has literally the time distortions where Pokemon show up out of nowhere all frenzied and stuff and we literally time traveled or dimension skipped all the way into the Legends Arceus or I guess the you know Hisui region in the past right we literally jumped there from the past meanwhile we're straight up like you know from the future wearing like you know futuristic clothes so the idea of time travel is already existing and I think what we're going to be seeing now is Pokemon from the future and Pokemon from the past meeting in this region kind of time warping through these distortions here and some of these Pokemon for example Lilip 
in the future, there are maybe no more fossils to be found. And we're even told, and this was something that Lumio's post actually pointed out, which is the fact that if you guys think about a Pokemon like Aerodactyl, in its Pokedex entry, it literally says that Aerodactyl, the way we see it, isn't what it actually looked like in the past. Like, actually, its Mega Evolution is more similar to its original form from back in the ancient times. So what I'm thinking is, what we're seeing here, when we get a future Pokemon, that's the interpretation of humans in the future recreating the Pokemon to, to what they think it might look like. And the Pokemon from the past will be Pokemon the way they exactly look like in the past. So basically, literally natural and artificial Pokemon. Innovation versus tradition, right? Traditionally how they're supposed to look like and how we've innovated to literally modify them into certain things. I mean, Mewtwo is an example of that. Mewtwo is a man-made Pokemon. Mew is a natural version of that, the, the purest form of Mew is Mew, right? There is like, that's like how it's supposed to look like based on like, you know, the fact that it was created by Arceus, right? We, meanwhile, Mewtwo is a man-made project. It's using DNA mixed with other stuff to create the ultimate Pokemon to be as close as possible to Mew. Meanwhile, Mew is the original, right? So that's the same thing here. These Pokemon, this crystal Pokemon over here, this, this thing is literally meant to be a future interpretation of, I would say, Lilip. And think about this. If this game features the past and the future, and there are Pokemon literally coming from the past through time warps, and Pokemon coming from the future from time warps, there is no point for fossil Pokemon, because we're getting the literal fossil Pokemon in, in their true forms. There's no reason to have fossil Pokemon, because all the Pokemon from the past are literally fossil Pokemon. So if we get, a, as an example, a Primeape, right, which is not going to be the case, but if we got, got a Primeape, you know, uh, past form, whatever you want to call it, or a t the time warp from the past, that, or a regional fake that's from the past, whatever you want to call it. That Pokemon, we don't need a fossil of it because that's literally the, the exact version of it. And then the future ones that come back to us, that's the ones that have been modified as well, like, you know, by the future people and whatnot. So what do you guys think about that? Let me know about the theory I have. I want to know your thoughts and opinions. Also, I'm going crazy here because it's too warm in the room. I really want to put the, the thingy over here, but it would ruin the audio, so I'm not doing that. Either way. I want to know what you guys think about all this. Let me know. Apparently, there's also a new Flamingo Pokemon. We already know that. We already seen that one. Apparently, also, not all Hisuian Pokemon are in the game, which we do uh, do think is uh, quite disappointing. It would be nice if all of them were there, but apparently, they are not. We know that Hisuian Zoroark is in, as we've seen from the first trailer. Also, the gimmick doesn't involve Pokemon getting an extra type, apparently. Now, I don't know where this, what this happened. Like, I think what ends up happening is, I think what we see with the Death Skull up there, I think what we are seeing, rather, is that the crystal typing is what it's going to be. It's not a new type, it's just a temporary thing, right? The same Mega Evolution, wait, a Mega Evolution, technically Mega Evolution isn't really evolution, right? Because they don't stay evolved, they're only temporarily evolved, right? Same way Gigantamaxing is also a temporary thing. I think this is temporary typing. It's a temporary crystal typing typing right they have done this in the past where they have an id that they maybe introduced in the pokemon anime in the pokemon cards and they take that id and they put it into the upcoming games they've done that in the past they they love reusing ids concepts whatever you're talking about they like to do that like you know they, they just love doing that that's very common for them either way though we move on to the next thing which is that there are not four pseudo legendaries this is incorrect it's actually four it's specifically four um what you might call it, four semi-legendaries. So when I say semi-legendary, what we're referring to specifically is Pokemon that more or less, like, I don't even know how to really say this, Pokemon that specifically are, like, not like the box legendaries, right? So think about it like this. A semi-legendary is, like, Latios, Latias, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, Entei, Raikou, Suicune, uh, Azelf, Uxie, and, uh, you know, um, geez, uh, Azelf, Uxie, and Mesprit, right? Uh, and another example is the Tapus, right? So basically, Tapu, Koko, Tapu, Lele, whatever, right? Those are sub-legendaries. They're still legendaries, but they're, they're, like, less important than the box legendaries, right? They're less important. Like, for example, Entei, Raikou, Suicune are considered less important or less legendary than, you know, Lugia and ho -Oh, right? Same way that in, you know, in Pokemon, um, I guess, if you're looking at uh, Hoenn as well, you've got uh, Rayquaza, uh, Groudon and Kyogre, and those are considered, like, more important than the Regis, right? Regice, Regirock, Re uh, you know, Registeel, they're less important than them. So, basically, there are four new ones of those, which is great, because uh, I don't remember what we had in, um, I feel like in Legends, uh, sorry, in Sword and Shield, we ended up having extra legendaries, but those were all in the DLC. I hope these will actually be in the base game, because I can't really remember if we had any other, like, I mean, dude, we, we did have Urshifu, and we had that Calyrex and whatnot, but I'm trying to think, like, beyond that, or even for the most part, the legendaries I remember was just Eternatus, Zacian, Zamazenta, and then, you know, the DLC legends, which was a bit different for me, but this is basically in the base game, as far as we know. 
Let me continue on. All Pokemon can use the new gimmick. So the gimmick, the crystal gimmick, will be usable for everyone. But we're pretty sure that certain Pokemon, just like Gigantamaxing is a thing, right? Everybody, every Pokemon can Dynamax, but only certain Pokemon can Gigantamax. The same thing with this crystal gimmick. Certain Pokemon will get its regular crystal typing, but then some of them will get the super ultra crystal typing or whatever. And they will actually look different just to make them more unique. Uh, Lugia and Ho-Oh are not in the game. This is actually a bit of a false statement. The guy said that, the, the, you know, people asked him, are Lugia and Ho-Oh getting new forms in the game? And he said no. Um, so I don't know if this is really true, if Lugia and Ho-Oh will, will or will not be in the game, but we'll see, right? Either way, when asked about the champion, the leaker said both male and female when asked about the gender. So maybe it's a version exclusive champion or it's something else. I don't really know. Uh, you guys' thoughts and opinions will be appreciated on this one right here, lads. So let us know about that. Dunspar's Evo does not fly. So apparently the Dunspar's Evolution will not be able to fly, which is unfortunate. Uh, also, apparently, Apalm and Tucannon are not in the game. Mishdrevis, however, is in the game. There is no new Dodrio form. Koraidon and Miraidon do not have five forms. Now, this actually, um, this is not really true. Um, this is technically, like, not 100% accurate. Um, they don't have, I guess, five different literal forms. But they probably will have five different rideable forms. Like, forms that will be usable for traversing, right, around the regions. This isn't 100% accurate, but it is what it is. We move on to the next thing, though, which is... Furfro, Squavit, and Minior are not in the game, uh, which is interesting. Actually, I think Squavit is in the game, though. Qu Squavit is in the game. I think he even had to clarify that and fix that and do some corrections. Uh, and then, then Weezing, uh, as well as its pre-evolution, uh, sorry, Weezing and Coughing, sorry, those two are in the game as well. Houndor line is also, so the Houndor evolutionary line is in the game as well. And uh, that is that. This also right here, this gym leader is, I think, the ice type gym leader, and it is a guy. We first thought it was a, as a girl, but it's actually a, a guy character. Um, and also, apparently, as we go down here, uh, Squavit is in the game, as mentioned, and the leakers said that Gen 9 starters are the only starters in the game. And this is not like, you know, this is just what we know as of right now. Because apparently the game isn't even finished yet. Apparently the game is still in development. The game is still being like, you know, tidied up and, and packaged together. So it isn't really even complete yet. What we have been seeing and what we're hearing is an incomplete version of the full story. So just please keep that in mind and please bear that in mind. This is not the completed game. This is still more to happen. There's still more to come. And we're still waiting for even possibly more leaks. But, you know, just for now, keep that in mind. Please remember that, and there is more details that will drop sooner or later. So, when it comes to the starters, for now, the Gen 9 starters are the only starters available in the game. And maybe, maybe in DLC, they'll introduce the other starters from the other generations, or maybe they will not. We'll have to wait and see. But for now, Gen 9 starters are the only ones. Also... Uh, Wigglytuff might be getting a new regional form, but it hasn't been explicitly stated. The new gimmick, you can transform any Pokemon into that crystallized look by using a new item that looks like a ball that Nimona gives you. And also a Gen 5 Pokemon is going to get a brand new evolution. So that is also right there. So we've gone through that, uh, like, thread. Uh, I'm going to see if there's any more threads we can go through. Here we go. So uh, here's more. Um, the black one is Lechonk's Evo, so you guys can already see that. We already knew that. Uh, and yes, the third one is Quoxley's Evolution. So you guys can see right there, the hat. We've got that too. And then if we go back a little bit, I think we have, um, I'm going to try to see if there's any more threads I can show you guys, because there is quite a, quite a lot amount of, like, quite a large amount of information that, like, we've been trying to just break down and go through, because there's, there's so much crazy stuff. But here it is, actually, so this is about the, the third gimmick, the three gimmicks, right? So as you know, we have the crystal gimmick, then we have the new like, the new, the new type of Pokemon, like, the, the new regional fakes. Uh, so, he says, the second new mechanic is the new type of forms. We still don't know what they are exactly, but basically, these are not regional forms, they're not evolutions, but they're a whole new concept, and as I said, I personally think these are time travel Pokemon. I think these are time warp Pokemon that have traveled from the past, future, etc. to our current times. Also, there's a third mechanic, uh, which he says is our fakes, but we don't know anything about it yet, which, I don't know, dude, I don't know, like, which all these are, and a lot of people have been saying, okay, and I even, I said, this feels like it's too much, it feels like it's too many things that will be in this game, but if you think about it, and a lot of people made the great point, which is, this is a open world game, they need to fill the world with stuff for us to do, they need to fill it with content, they need to fill it with things we can enjoy, explore, etc., there needs to be stuff for us to do, or else, you know, what's, you know, th there's just not gonna be enough there, we need to, we need content, we need them to fill it, you know, fill the world, fill the, the, the whole universe of this game with information and stuff to do, Otherwise, like, you know, it's just not going to function. It's just not going to, you know, it's not going to be enough. They need more content. And there is actually more stuff to talk about. This is stuff that's been posted by another person called Pokemon Leaks. Uh, they have been kind of tweeting uh, a million different things. And uh, not all of their stuff has been correct. They've just been kind of tweeting a million different pieces of information. But here we go. Uh, so first things first. 
He also tweeted about this. So Lumio's post said, lots of little stuff, but uh, but big things. Dunsparce, Giraffrig, and Murfro Murkrow get new Evos. There's a new Dolphin and a new Flamingo. No me uh, Megas do not return, and gimmick is for all Pokemon to use. So like Z-moves or Dynamax, not specific like Megas. So yeah, the gimmick is there. Region name is Paldea. There are nine towns and three cities. Information we already knew. And uh, apparently, uh, the uh, the Riddler uh, has been posting a bunch of images of Pokemon Quest with, uh, well, yeah, the only like closest thing to, I guess, uh, Dolphin that we can get uh, with these, which is quite interesting. But then again, he posts about Pokemon Quest all the time, so it's not really much to learn about that. Uh, here are some drawings of what the different Pokemon could look like. People have been drawing them in, the blurry images, to see, the, like, get the best representation they possibly can. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, what do you guys think about that? Then there's also this posted on 4chan, which shows a Magnezone. Now, I'm, I think this one is fake. We don't really know much about this one. But uh, somebody said Magnezone Future Form, which, uh, I'm going to be honest, I think this one is fake. Uh, even, like, I think Blaine's came out and said, like, yeah, this one looks very too similar to the regular one just looks like a recolor rather than like anything brand new uh, and then there was also um somebody who drew here like uh, i don't know exactly who did it i really would love if there was like a credit for it um for who actually did it here which i do not appreciate it um but yes yeah, apparently this is a drawing here that seems to show um like what possibly Quoxley's evolution could look like, which looks very similar to some of the predictions we actually had. Uh, but this is kind of an idea of what it could look like. And we got the back and front of it, as you guys can see over there. So there you guys go. What do you guys think about that? Let us know in the comment section down below. Uh, the next thing, of course, is the Flamengo. Here's a few drawings as well. Uh, this is from Jabrail, Jabrail, who drew like kind of a, an interpretation of it. Uh, there you go about that. And then I think for the most part, we've gone through everything that we had to say, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you all for that one. I don't really think there's much that's been missed. I'm going to go over on my Twitter which you guys can follow if you want to. We're about to hit 14k subs uh, or followers. And uh, here's a drawing of the Jiggly, uh, Jigglypuff, which could literally be a hint at, if you think about Wigglytuff or Iggly, Igglybuff or whatever, they literally like use the word buff in their name. And if you think about it, there is the most famous besides Dracula, the, you know, the most famous vampire, I would say, is probably, um, you know, uh, no, actually, I guess, actually, not, not like really vampire, but like the most famous vampire slayer, I guess, uh, besides uh, Simon would probably be Buffy the Vampire Slayer, right? Like, that that show is massive. And the, like, the, co the idea of there being literally a Pokemon that, you know, already has that in its name, that is a vampire type of design now, uh, makes total sense to me, okay? That's all I'm going to say. But, um, again, your thoughts and opinions would be appreciated. Here's also a drawing of the Amoogus. The Amoongus, Amoongus, <laughs> there you go, there's that. Um, and here's some drawings that fill in the gaps of all the different Pokemon. This is all drawn by uh, Zigzagoonies, so shout out to Zigzagoonies for the awesome artwork. And uh, for the most part, I think that's it. Also, this image is fake, by the way, uh, for anybody wondering. But uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think there's really much else that can be mentioned in regards to this. Again, your thoughts and opinions would be appreciated. And go give me a follow on Twitter if you want to for all this information and more stuff like that. But I think for the most part, we've gone through all the basic stuff. Again, I'm double checking right now before we end this video. If there is anything else that I should mention for you guys, if there is anything else. I will say, though, that the leaker, apparently, the leaker is going to be, like, returning. Um, but, um... Apparently, the leaker was annoyed that we were showing off their name for a few times and mentioning their name. So, uh, going forward, we're not going to be mentioning their name or anything like that. Um, just keeping that in mind. And, of course, there is some other stuff as well that should be talked about. Um, you know, there is a bunch of information, for example, from the Riddler. Riddler's been putting out information that's kind of adding to the existing, like, stuff that we, we you know, we've got going here. So, uh, again, your guys' thoughts and opinions would be appreciated. Uh, thank you all for that. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys. I'll be seeing you all in the next one. And uh, peace out and bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.